Welcome everybody to another episode of Blooms For You. I hope you don't mind that I'm going to do an intro and outro repeat on the Cattleya Sagarik Wax African Beauty. Honestly, yes, she's still around. She still looks absolutely amazing. It's been over 10 days now. Her fragrance is something just to, oh, if you could say a sight to behold or a nose to be sniff, I don't know how to formulate that. But if you like a good port wine with a note of sweetness in the back, this is a bloom that ticks all the boxes. And while she's around and looking like this, I feel it would be wrong if I just enjoyed her for my own purposes. She's just on the shelf there in my blooming alley and it just, you know, Hibiki is doing fabulous. But I, I have to, I have to stick with Sagarig Wax while she's still around. These blooms just have to be seen to be believed. I apologize that my lighting is not as good. These are much, much darker. They go straight into a deep red Bordeaux. Like I said, port wine, that color. And then there's a little bit of a very sturdy waxy lip. But my goodness, if you can source a Sagarig Wax, not necessarily after beauty. I'm just sure that you'll be absolutely delighted. So, thank you very much, everybody. Once again, Katlia Sagarik Wax, African Beauty, goes to all of you that watch this video to say thank you for taking the time to do so. And I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the blooms that we've had around and to some degree are still around. So let's go have a look. It's a good thing that I keep a list of all the names that come up on either comments or if I can recognize subscribers as they come in, I keep a running tab on all the names. So thank you for identifying yourself. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot in order to keep my little series of giving my blooms away to you going. Why am I going off on a tangent like that? Well, Karen Sicard. This dendrobium was bought as Dendrobium stratiotis crossed with Dendrobium antenatum. So, on doing my research, that cross is actually a samurai. But what I see here is neither one or the other. I believe that what I see here is a Dendrobium leporinum. Now, this is her first spike. But Karen Sicard, I wanted to give this one to you. I haven't seen you around in quite some time, but that doesn't mean, you know, out of sight, out of mind, no way. I wanted to make sure that you knew that your support in the very, very early days, right off the bat of my channel, has not gone unnoticed. I want to thank you so much for it and let you know just how much I appreciate that. We had some giggles with my slipper orchid introduction <laughs> and well you know I just appreciate your positive feedback if I asked about sound in the early days you were right there saying you heard everything and um, since then I've had some sound issues sometimes I get complacent and ahead of myself but Karen that's not the point of this exercise I wanted to share my dendrobium what I think is leporinum with you and the reason I say that is because even though she looks a little bit wonky, <laughs> I forgive her, bless her, because it is her first spike. And um, even though I didn't move it while it was developing, her blooms are a little bit all over the place. I've got one here on the side, but need needless to say, I have one that shows up absolutely beautifully. And there's another one in the back here. So samurai are the ones with the very long petals, very long and sort of greenish and upright. A stratiotis, in my opinion, does not have these pink blushes on the side, not from what I could see when I was looking this one up. So why do I believe that I have a leporinum here? Well, a stratiotis doesn't have these pink blushes on the petals. It looks a little bit more white to me. It has this very defined lip, very, very similar, 
And an antenatum has much longer and much more upright petals and they could have sort of curl more and have a light green hue to them. So checking this one out on the internet, I come to the conclusion, I'm thinking this is a Leporinum and I can change another label. And you can see from my early labels that that is what I bought. Stratiotus crossed with Antenatum. But Karen Sicard, you know what? It's a pretty bloom and boy does she smell good. Very, very heavy on the earthy jasmine side of things. Not very, I mean, yes, sweet. One could say sweet, but it's more earthy. It's a very masculine smell, if that makes sense at all for an orchid. But Karen, I hope that you see this video. I really want you to know that you have made my early days on YouTube very motivational and I appreciate that. And I thank you very, very much for coming on board, showing your support, and I hope that you are doing well. Let's try this without making a big mess. This is the Sologeny Lime Bay for David Needs. This is my first spike and the 12th bloom. I've only ever filmed her in the shade because of wind conditions or noise pollution. But I think I could get away with it now and film her in the sun. 12th bloom, first spike, David Needs, goes to you. But wait, there's more. I can also give you the second spike, second bloom. Because here we are. Very difficult to film this one now. But I finally have two blooms open at once. Please excuse the terrible, terrible setting. I have tried a pedestal, I have tried a chair on a shelf, I have tried very, very different variations in order to film this, but uh, David Needs here is Sologeny Lime Bay for you, two blooms. They have now synchronized and I do believe as long as the first spike keeps going, there will be continuous two blooms to give away. Bear in mind, the first spike has been in bloom since November 2019 and we are now in mid-August 2020. And I'm so pleased that now it's not bloom by bloom by bloom. Now I can give them away in pairs and at the same time. So David Needs, thank you very, very much for subscribing to my channel. I hope that you are having a wonderful summer and that everything is going well in your world. I really appreciate your support. Anybody in the mood for a little bit of Sesame Street but in the orchid hobby? 2702 Foxy. Let's count together right now. Oh yeah. Okay, big bird, enough. <laughs> right, let's count my Neophenicia Rainbow Forest Spikes and we'll get to the two that I have for you. 2702 Foxy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have at this stage already given four away. So for you 2702 Foxy, I have two spikes opened at the same time, numbers five and six, and they are for you. I saw that you had subscribed to my channel and I just want to thank you so very, very much by giving you the fifth and sixth spike of my Neophenicia Rainbow Forest supposedly peaches or whatever it wants to be. With nine spikes on the go this year, I don't care if it's a white elephant. That's fine. Give me nine spikes. You can do whatever you want. 
that little basket is all yours. I had last year, if I remember correctly, maybe five or six spikes. Oh, bad, bad, should remember. But never nine, I can agree, I can assure you that. Let me just say, last time when I was checking the fragrance on this one, it was the warm, fuzzy apricot. Fresh apricot, but warm, and you can kind of feel the fuzz in your nose. This time, I kid you not, it smells like the nectar of a very, very tropical tree bloom. And by the life of me, I cannot, cannot put my finger on it. But it, you know, I want to say hibiscus, but it's not that. It's the nectar that is at the stem of a tropical bloom that when you pick it, 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 it releases a very, very sticky, sweet fragrance. That's what it smells like to me today. So I don't know if there's something in the air because it's summer, but um, I'm loving it. You give me warm apricots, you give me the nectar of a very tropical bloom that I remember and I, can, I, I can't, but I can't remember the name. If I can find it in the meantime, Foxy, I will definitely leave it in the description or put up a card. I doubt it, I doubt it. It's one of those things that you know from your childhood and then they're gone. But then you smell it and you go, hey now, I ramble, I babble, because when I'm surprised like this, I, I, don't, I don't have a script. It just comes as it comes and yeah. But there's one thing I really, really, really want to point out, Foxy, 2702 Foxy, that you are so very much appreciated here on my channel and I thank you so much very very much for being here and I hope that you like Bloom Spikes 5 and 6. Phalaenopsis Tabasco Tex. It has been a while. Yes, I was expecting to be able to show my Tabasco Tex a lot sooner, a lot more often, dedicate her bloom to more people, but Susanna, one guy, I managed to get the third bloom on the second spike to bloom perfectly and avoid damage. So it's been a while because the second bloom actually, um, yeah, my elbow caught the top petal. So I figured, no, that's not, no, that's not what I want. I don't want to dedicate something that's not perfect. But my third bloom has bloomed beautifully, perfectly, and nothing wrong as such with any of these blooms because their fragrances are maintained. Still got that heady, heady, spicy, sweet fragrance, but the pollinators are enjoying this Phalaenopsis as much as I am. So I'm losing the pollen cap. They've been busy. They've been chomping on the petals on the side nibbling at the happy sap. So Susanna, it took a while for me to manage to get another gorgeous bloom out for you. And I hope that you enjoy her. We met on Instagram. I'm so happy to have you on this side of a social media platform as well. I really appreciate your support. And I want you to know that uh, I'm really, really relieved that I could get the Phalaenopsis Tabascotex third bloom to do its thing for you as a thank you for your support and your kind kind communication on Instagram I really really appreciate it I hope that all your plants orchids and family are doing well in your part of the world once again thank you so much for being here and look who's back I know in a short video about a gift that I got, I showed you my second spike of my Vanda Leopard Yawn. Not a registered name, not a registered name. That's a name I made up, Leopard Yawn, in which I quickly showed the spike as an intro to what the video was actually about. But in this Subscribers Inspire Blooms For You series, I bring her back because I want the person to know 
who she's dedicated to this time on her second spike. That would be you, Scott DeVito. Yes, sir. It's not a ridiculous Lelia. Still waiting for the first bloom on mine. But it is my Vanda Leopard Yawn with gorgeous blooms, a strong spike, and you can see a second one coming, a third one actually coming back there. But that's not what this video is about. This is about my third spike, which I dedicate to you, Scott DeVito, as a very, very big thank you for being on my channel so early, interacting, requesting, communicating, all that fun stuff that I enjoy doing after the filming is done. The interaction is one of the highlights, I must say, of having a YouTube channel as opposed to just being a subscriber. So thank you, Scott, so much for your support. This time, the fragrance is just a very, very pleasant floral one. I don't detect anything sensational or knock it out the park. No, it's, it's very pleasant. You have to stick your nose in it if you want to enjoy it. But my goodness me, isn't this quite something? And I like the fact that they do go to sort of a creamy color with the maroon spotting. And when they open, they're just a smidgen on the green side. Just a smidgen. It looks yellow on camera, but they're a little bit of it on the green side. Chartreuse, and then they go to the creamy and the maroon. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, Scott DeVito, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Leopard Yawn, all yours. This is my popcorn Haruri. Eonopsis Popcorn Haruri, to be exact. And Junri's Blog Gadak. Thank you so much for being on my channel. I met you on a live one day and we got to chit chat and then boom, you popped over and here you are now with a bloom for you. My Eonopsis Popcorn Haruri. To say thank you so much for jumping over so quickly, supporting my channel with your subscription. I really, really appreciate having you here. And I don't see if this is perfectly in focus. I'm hoping I have a lot of light that is glaring my screen. But I wanted to share with you the diversity of Popcorn Haruri. When the blooms open, how pretty, pretty, pretty and yellow they are on the lip. And then they go to this gorgeous, gorgeous pale pink. So you have a beautiful display of different colors. Look at that. That's quite charming, I would say. Junri's blog Gadak by Popcorn Haruri is mounted. Still has some sphagnum moss around it. That is going to change at some point in the future. Last year I had two spikes. Unfortunately, this year she is a bit stressed and could only produce one spike. But one is all we need in order to make a bloom dedication. So, thank you so much, Junri. I appreciate having you here and I hope that everything is going well in your part of the world. Well, this one is a difficult one to film. This is Vanda Darwinaro Blue. And on the screen, it looks purple, deep lavender, but it's not dark enough as what real life shows. Let me see if I can get the sun away from the blooms, and see if that will darken the color approximately. You see, every little bit of light changes the hues of the blooms. Snow Dragon Ka or Snow Dragon Ka. I would like to dedicate my Vanda Darwinara Blue to you. I am absolutely loving our exchange in the comments section. I really appreciate how enthusiastic you are about my channel and it really motivates me. 
and your comments are just so uplifting. I really appreciate that as well. You can see that how the color gets washed out with the sunlight and it makes it look like it's speckled, but it's not. Very difficult, very difficult. So the color here is almost, almost correct. Just like that. I do not have a fragrance on her at all. This is her first spike, but I am very happy to say that I do believe this is the band of Darwin Ara Blue, and I haven't got a mislabeled one. But uh, she looks neo-like, very, very beautiful. In real life, the colors are like a very dark and deep purple. Um, there is no speckling. What you see here is all sun reflection. There's no speckling at all. There's a little bit of a crystalline texture, but that is not what is causing this. And today is a hazy day, so I'm finding it very difficult to be able to match the colors. But anyway, Snow Dragon Cup. Banda Darvinara Blue. She blooms on her first spike for you. Even though we have two more buds to open, I prefer to always film spikes while some buds are left to open because that means, in my opinion, the blooms are the freshest. She's a small plant. She's not very big, but she's doing really well in DECA and self-watering. So that makes my life very, very easy in her maintenance and care. I do spray her in the summer months now, two times, three times a day, just to keep little bit of humidity going on around her and she lives in the east side of my growing area so she gets a lot of bright light finally I got her to bloom I actually moved her from a little bit more shadier location into a section that has a lot more bright light and here we are snow dragonka banda darwinara bloom blooms for you as a thank you for your support and enthusiasm here on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, you are forgiven if you're thinking this is Casper the friendly ghost. <laughs> Isn't this just the cutest bloom ever? I only have one, but look at that spur. For Anishka Silva, this is my Jomelia arborescens. I will put the name in the timestamp below. But this is my Jomelia arborescens, my first ever bloom. And this is what I would consider my version of a ghost orchid. Because just look, isn't that just charming? Ah, oh, so cute. So, Anishka, Jumelia Aborescens blooms for you. As a thank you for your enthusiasm on my channel, I so appreciate it so nice to get to know you your comments make me giggle i think they are super refreshing and i just want to thank you and show my appreciation for your support i'm giving you my first bloom of my cheeky little ghost orchid it's not it's a jumelia but it is cute 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 that is just for me something super special that I managed to get this one to bloom from what I thought was a seedling but came out no bud blast in a soap dish <laughs> with just small lava rock that's it <laughs> loving its little soap dish so <laughs> thank you Anishka thank you so very much and I hope you like the bloom Thank you everybody for watching, for taking the time, for also commenting, for spending time on my channel. I really 
want you to know that I do appreciate it. As much as I want to keep doing this Blooms For You series faster and quicker, I depend on the orchids to bloom as and when. And then I have orchids that last on the blooms. And then I have whole spikes that don't make it, which is distressing at best of times. But when you've got them allocated to people, it's like, oh no, seriously? Oh. So I want to continue doing this series. I don't want people to think that they are being forgotten. You are not forgotten. If you've left a comment on any of my videos, it has gone straight into a database, straight away. My subscriber count doesn't add up to what I see on my database, but I know I have not missed anybody because those two lists work hand in hand. The minute I see something, it goes straight onto the database. So if you haven't commented on my video and you would like to be added to the database, please, please just say hi. I see your name and I go put it on the database. So anybody who's been with me for the longest, longest of times and I haven't gotten to you yet, please don't think I'm skipping and jumping and ignoring you. I'm not. All right. So let me just wrap this up and just say for the purposes of everybody that is on my channel, whether you've subscribed or you're just watching, whether you've decided that you're not ready to subscribe, Zagary Wax, African Beauty, blooms for you as a thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it and I sincerely hope that everybody is staying safe and having a wonderful, wonderful summer. Take care everybody.